The Foundry has officially rolled out Mari 7.5, the latest update to its high-end 3D texture painting software, now available as open beta for artists with active licenses. Mari is actually a staple tool for painting detailed textures, especially in VFX and game development, so any improvements tend to turn heads, and this version doesn't disappoint. The headline edition in 7.5 is multi-paint, a long-awaited feature that lets artists paint across multiple texture channels simultaneously, instead of laboriously painting each map one by one. The thing is, multi-paint is actually a game-changer for texturing. In previous versions of Mari, you had to paint your diffuse, specular, bump, and other maps separately, often manually aligning the details across each channel. The Foundry now calls multi-paint the most requested feature in Mari's history, and it is easy to see why. After years of painting channels one at a time, artists can now tackle up to 8 texture seams in a single stroke or projection. In practical terms, this means days of manually aligning your diffuse and specular projections being gone. As Foundry puts it, one unified paint operation can update all your material layers simultaneously, ensuring perfect consistency across maps. Mari's new multi-channel painting interface makes this multi-stream magic feel intuitive. You can choose which texture channels to paint into, drag and drop reference images into a dedicated palette for projection painting, and set blending modes for each layer. Once you hit the canvas, Mari applies your brush strokes or stamps across all selected channels in one go. And all Mari's familiar paint buffer tools, from the basic paint brush and fill, to advanced tools like wrap, blur, and clone stamp have been updated to support the simultaneous workflow. You can even save your channel setup as a preset to reuse on other projects or share it with teammates, so your multi-map configuration is always at hand. Beyond multi-channel painting, Mari 7.5 brings a handful of smart workflow enhancements. The image manager, for example, has been overhauled to organize images into groups, replacing the old tab system, which makes it easier to manage texture sets for an asset. You can bundle all your maps or a model into a group and drop it into multi-paint palettes. Mounting will then make an educated guess at assigning each image to the correct channel, or let you manually map them via the chosen shader model. Another big addition is the new texture transfer tool in Mari's baking engine, also known as the bakery. It streamlines the process of moving textures and even entire node graph setups between objects with different UV layouts. In other words, if your model's UVs change, or you want to repurpose textures into a variant model, Mari can automatically remap the textures, saving you tons of tedious reprojecting work. The Foundry even claims moving a heavy 28 UDIM 4K texture set between models now takes only about 10 seconds with texture transfer, which I would say is a drastic speed up compared to the earlier versions. Mari 7.5 also addresses reliability and performance with an improved backup and recovery system. The software now lets you as an artist tag backup snapshots with labels and organize them by date, making it much easier to find the right recovery point if something goes wrong. Perhaps more importantly, loading a project from a backup is now faster, so this new version copies data on demand rather than freezing it until the entire project loads, meaning less waiting around. The backup process itself has been optimized to use multi-CPU threads, further reducing save and loading times especially for big projects. Under the hood, the Foundry cut Mari on the VFX reference platform 2023 spec for this release, which is a couple of years behind the bleeding edge, but this ensures stability, especially for studios already aligned with Mari 7.1, I mean its pipeline. All these tweaks can add up to a snappier, more robust experience, especially when you have a lot of complex assets. Since Mari 7.5 is currently in open beta, the Foundry recommends using it for testing and not yet in mission critical production scenes, but the early access has already generated excitement in the community. It is clear the company has doubled down on user requested features and followed improvements in this release. And once the final 7.5 version ships, texture painters can look forward to a smoother, more efficient pipeline, especially with the new features that really look promising. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.